Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We are on our Creating a Strong Health Foundation that lasts. We're in the emotional pillar. And um, today we are on our second episode of Emotions. And we're talking about emotional health. If you didn't join us for the first episode on emotional health, we talked about um, just really trying to be active and not passive with our thoughts, discerning our thoughts, um, taking time down to really um, be able to discern um, where we are and where we want to go. And today we want to sort of take it a step further. And we really thought it was important um, for emotional health that we talk about community because we weren't meant to do this alone. We are wired to be in community. Um, that is how God called us to live. And so um, we really want to spend some time and just talk about how important community is for emotional health. Um, I know for me, um, you know, being in community, especially with even, you know, I'm thinking about my partner looking at her beautiful face. Carrie was mm -hmm. a huge piece um, to my healing, um, you know, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And it's really important that we find those people in our life that are pursuing God, um, pursuing his will, pursuing his will for your life, and that we, um, you know, just talk with them, be with them, communicate with them, um, be vulnerable with them, and create a place where we can um, just grow. Yeah. Um, this, this sort of a uh, pillar, the emotional pillar, you know, we, we kind of toyed around with what do we focus on? Because there are so many things that we could focus on, but we, we really want to look at this from a biblical aspect, um, for sure. And, and what he's been showing us, of course, and community is, is so key. And it's, and it's just not something that I was necessarily, I mean, like, yes, I knew that, but then it was like, I really still wasn't doing it. Um, and so I'll, I'll share a little bit about why that might be, but, um, but that is the two highest callings that God gives us. Um, it tells us in Matthew 22 verses 37 through 39, you shall love your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And so he tells us right there that others, right. Living in community with others is so important. That's how we show God's love, right? That's how, um, it's just, we should love our neighbor as ourself. And, and it was like, I would hear that, but I didn't really even understand how that was possible. But I think I was so focused on myself that I, I couldn't, like, I didn't have any space to love others as much as myself, if that makes sense. And that's again, going back to episode three, that's how a lot of this started is that I, I just felt like I want to know what that means. And, and I was just at the end of trying to figure it out myself because I didn't know, I didn't know how, like, how, how do you do that? Um, but I think that God looks at our heart and he knew in my heart that I was ready for that. And so when I prayed that prayer, a series of events happened. And so sometimes we don't know how to do that. Right. But if we sincerely ask God to show us and we sincerely want that, he's going to do it. Um, and it probably is going to look different for everybody, but um, it is an important thing that we are called to, um, is just to yeah. be in relationship with one another. And community, you know, it just says where two or more are gathered, he's there, right? I mean, it could be two, it could be, you know, more than that, right? Of course, at different times. But I do feel though, and, and I want to know what your thoughts are, Jen, is that oftentimes it does start with just two people being in really yes. close community with each other. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like, you know, you prayed the prayer of, you know, you really wanted to be burdened for somebody. And I was on the receiving end of that. You know, I was on the other side, white knuckling it, didn't even know I needed community or discipleship. Um, and so for me, if those of you are listening and you feel like you need that community, um, I didn't pray for it. But I prayed, like Carrie, I prayed that I could do God's will and be there. I knew God was calling me to be there for other people. Um, but I didn't know how or, you know, a way to do it or why. And 
I think what he has shown, you know, me, and I think Carrie, if I can speak for you too, is that, um, you know, he brings people together because there's so much purpose in what he's doing for each of those people. And so anyway, yeah, you know, I was white knuckling it thinking, okay, I got this. I can do this. I got this, you know, but I didn't, um, I was not thriving. I was surviving and, um, it was, and I had a ton of friends. I have tons of friends and, and the kind of community, I think sometimes you might need is just maybe a one-on-one community. Um, so someone that you can really connect with and sees you on a different level. And, 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 you know, I was also vulnerable, vulnerable, and sometimes that's really hard, but I was vulnerable and, um, you know, not necessarily asked for help, but I think God just did his work and Carrie saw, you know, through God's doing, um, you know, where she might need to, um, love like God, like Jesus would love. (laughs) And, um, I was so grateful for that. So that's not to say that you don't have any friends. Um, you could have a big community of friends and, you know, it just might not be what you need in that moment. Maybe. Does that make sense? No, and definitely. Yeah. That that's, I think when we think about community and we're like, okay, community is important. And then maybe we just check that off in our box. Like, oh, I'm in community. I have lots of friends. Right. Um, And I mean, yes, that is one form of community, but this type of community that we're talking about is one that it just goes a lot deeper. And, and like, like Jen said, I mean, a lot of times this does start with being vulnerable and that takes a safe place and lots of love you know, in that place to, to be comfortable with sharing something that's really just, you know, deep inside and that seems yeah. scary to share. And a, a lot of times that comes from p- a connection. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a godly type of love, right? I mean, yes. I talked about that in, in episode three of like, whenever I prayed that prayer and everything started to unfold and, you know, Jen just felt comfortable to share some things with me. It was like, I couldn't like, it was like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. If it doesn't matter how hard I tried, like, um, because that's because God put his love in my heart for her and, and for others too, you know, I can see that, but it, uh, for me, it started with one person. Um, and that's just my story, but, but I do feel like this type of community and that type of connection, um, there has to be God's love there. And that means oftentimes, you know, you're chasing after the Lord, right? That's our first priority. And I think that's why Jen and I connected so much is because that's the kind of depth that she was looking for. And that I was looking for also, um, we both don't really like small talk. We don't like (laughs) surface level things. I've always been like that. And I'm, I think she has as well. And so it was like, Oh, okay. I can get down with this, you know, (laughs) Right. Um, and I need to talk about the weather or. Right. I mean, it's just like, I just want to dive in. And so right. I think that, yeah, it just, it's just a different type of connection. That's what we're trying to, I guess, get right. the point across is community can look different, but this type of community that we need for um, um, emotional health, really, and spiritual, I would put those kind of together here because they're so connected. It, it does start with that combination of things, right? It's, it's just the safety and the trust and the love that's there. Um, and again, oftentimes that does start between two people. And of course, then what happens is it spreads, <laughs> but you, but you have to, you, that is very healing. That one-on-one relationship is very healing. And so then you can spread that out to others, maybe not in the same depth, but you can hold space for other people. We talked about that in the last episode and, and how important that is. And, I really love something you posted the other day, Jen, on Instagram. It was just about how like it really only takes eight minutes to kind of hold space for somebody. I don't know where you heard that, but I had never really thought about that. And I was like, and it was interesting because I was, I was going on a trip last weekend and my daughter was kind of upset and, and I was, (laughs) okay, I was in a hurry. I was trying to get things ready for this trip. And it was like, you know, an hour, 45 minutes before I was supposed to leave. And and my first thought was, I don't have time for this. However, 
I just was patient. I just sat down and I listened to her and she shed a few tears and, and in, and in about eight minutes, it was, everything was okay. You know, I had sat there, I listened to her, I uh, you know, I let her get upset and, and that's really all it took, but how often, and I'm so guilty of this. We're just like, Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll, you know, it's, and then we just brush it off. Like I am definitely yeah. guilty of that. Um, and sometimes, you know, that that's okay. But something like that, I feel like if you keep doing that, they're not going to want to open up to you. Yeah. Um, you know, our, that could go for kids, any, anybody, um, friends. And so that eight minutes, I've really thought a lot about that. Yeah. I think it's super important that we, one, um, you know, really realize that, that people are going to ask or, maybe not come right out and ask, but need that eight minutes yeah. at probably the most inconvenient time. Right. And that's when you're going to have to sit down and say, this is, you know, why we're here. This is why the Lord is calling us to be yeah. his hands and feet. And, um, that eight minutes could be crucial for yeah. somebody. Um, and so, you know, it's, as, as Carrie says to, to, to really, hold that space. Um, and as Galatians six, two says, carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ is it chokes me up. It's why we're here. Yeah. And when we just are all about our own agenda or don't have, you know, the, even like the mental or physical capacity to do that, um, that's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It just really impedes our ability to do what God's called us to do. Like it, it, it's just, it's important. That's what we want to get across to you today. Like if you feel like you don't have eight minutes for somebody, that's a problem. And I'll, and I'll be the first to admit that was a problem for me. And I didn't even know it was a problem for me. And so I just, I, if you take nothing else away, (laughs) take the eight minutes away from, from, from this episode and really think to yourself and, and look, that kind of goes back to the last episode that we did be actively looking for, you know, how, what are people asking of me without even asking my, my daughter didn't ask me for eight minutes. She just felt safe enough to tell me about something she was struggling with. And I had, I, I wanted to be there for her and I gave her the eight minutes and it was a gift. I mean, really, I just think about how little that is, but it's, but it's actually a really big deal. But oftentimes we're so focused on all the things that we feel like we have to do. And we miss the most important thing that God's asking us to do. Amen, Carrie. That is so well said. Uh, I mean, we all, it, we're, and we're all guilty of it, right? We all are guilty of just being caught up in our own life and our to-do list and our own families and which are our priorities and are important. Um, but I also think that we need each other. And I think the vulnerability piece and the sharing piece, um, in modern culture has sort of fallen away and, um, we really need each other. And if you're listening and, and maybe you don't have that one person, um, find a community. That's how Carrie and I connected. We connected through, um, a discipleship group called she works his way. We talk about it often on here. Um, you know, that might be a way where you can connect with people that have the same goals of pursuing the Lord and doing his will. Um, and you find your community that you connect with, um, that want to go deeper, that have the same goals that hold you accountable, that encourage you. Um, you know, yeah. Even if it's not that one person. Um, so, you know, check out, she works his way. Um, if you, if you haven't already, if you're looking for that group, um, you know, it's an incredible place to find, you know, Christ centered, um, just encouragement. And again, if you do have someone that, you know, you're lucky enough to, um, share with and be vulnerable with them. Sometimes it's hard. We don't like to be vulnerable. It's not fun. Mm. Um, but that's how we connect with each other, um, is through vulnerability. And so, um, you know, it's, it's initially really hard. Might, it might be really hard. Um, but it, it, it's so healing, so healing. Yeah. So I had a, I had a thought, you know, we're talking about community here, but 
a, I mean, a lot of us here are moms that, that, you know, listen to this podcast and we are, or we have family members, like we should be in community with them first and foremost. Right. I yep. mean, you know, we're, and so you don't even have to look any further than your own house, probably, um, okay. unless you live alone. Right. And then, and then you, you would, but, um, yeah, like I want to, one of my goals is to like, love my family really well. And not that I didn't love them before, but just, again, it's just these little things that really make a big difference. Um, and just, you know, especially with kids is that, you know, as they grow up and, um, you know, are going through different things, like they just want our attention. Like they just want to know that we care and that we, want to, you know, listen to what's going on because it's important to them, even though what she was telling me, I mean, I knew that it was, you know, going to pass, you know, it wasn't something that was like a huge deal, but it was to her in the moment. So I think that's just super important a thing that we can take, you know, outside of our homes as well. Um, but it, it also just reminds me that, you know, just like, for instance, Jen and I's relationship, it, it kind of started out because she shared that with me. And so, I, I will say sometimes it was more focused on her, but then recently I've realized that because I didn't necessarily want to show up and share some things that it, it became one sided and that can happen sometimes. And so I just want to encourage you, however you, wherever you feel like your bend is, <laughs> you want to watch out for that because that's just something that the enemy can use and it can really, um, you know, just stand between what God is calling us to do in community. And, and honestly, we have to be able to receive love and give love. Like if we don't receive it well, then we're not going to be able to give it as well as he wants us to. So it goes both ways because usually we have a bend, you know, but right. they, they, it goes both ways. And it's a gift yeah, right? to uh, receive um, or to give, to give, I should say. And for it to be received is, is truly a gift. Yeah. Um, so don't, you know, take that from somebody. There's somebody out there that yeah. is waiting to do that and, and prayed that prayer, just like Carrie prayed that prayer. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. And, um, they're waiting to love on you. Yeah. Some, something, other things that I think about kind of, as we wrap up this topic is just that, you know, things like why we need community. I just kind of had like a little, um, a few things that I wrote out, you know, one it's to hold us accountable, um, to just, you know, like, I know we've talked about on previous, um, episodes of, you know, we'll, we'll check. I mean, we talk all the time, Jen and I do, but you know, how are you? And it's like, oh, I'm good. And then, so sometimes you just have to dig in a little bit more because, you know, sometimes we just don't want to share, right. But holding right. ourselves accountable and, or maybe it's, um, you know, she as, um, doing the daily walks, like she's, that's something she's really been um, intentional about and just, Hey, did you go on your walk today? Or have you been in scripture or whatever it might be? You know, there's just, there's a level of accountability there that is important. Um, also encouragement, gosh, like we all need encouragement. And so that, that just means to like put courage in one another. Um, that could be through prayer or scripture or just, you know, uh, words of encouragement. I just think it's so important to, uh, not neglect that because we all have days that are going to be harder. Um, and so hopefully it's a two way street where you encourage one another. It's not always one sided, um, speak truth, super important. You know, our words are, are just key. I mean, you know, and, and they're an overflow really of our heart and what's on our mind. And so I know that we've both held each other to those things like, okay, that, you know, I'll say something and she's like, nope, that's, that's not true, <laughs> you know? And so sometimes we don't even realize it. So that, that is super important. And just ultimately to point each other to him, because again, the world is not going to do that. And so we need other people to help us to do that. Right. This is like, you know, we have to be in the world, but not of the world. And gosh, that, that pull that, you know, I just think about like an undercurrent <laughs> of the world is strong at times. And so, yes, we can do things, you know, like watch what we consume and really pour into scripture, but we need other people to point us in his direction. So those are just some things I thought about. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing that, Carrie. I mean, I, I, you know, again, it's not, I think 
I, it's not just not in the forefront of our minds to be in community, right? It's like, what do I have on my to-do list? Like today? we don't have time need- for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Laundry's waiting, work's waiting. <laughs> right. But um, I think what we're talking about here is um, again, as we were saying, being intentional with our thoughts, being intentional um, to be in community because as it's so important for our emotional health, Um, and we just want you to really, um, lean into the accountability, the encouragement. Um, and if you're listening and you know, you need some encouraging or you need some accountability, reach out. We would love to pray for you, um, to speak truth over you, um, and just point you to him ultimately. And if there's, you know, somehow we can help in that area, we would love to. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll end with this. It's from James 5, 16 that said, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So above all, I mean, prayer is just, we know how important it is, but we just need to be intentional about praying for others, um, having others pray for us. And that, that starts with sharing needs. If you don't do anything else in, in the community that you're in is just ask them to pray for you. Um, that's the start maybe right to, to being more in community and sharing more. Um, there's nothing more powerful than that, right? Because the Lord is the one that, that heals us and that heals our hearts and, and our, our bodies and our minds. And so we would be, uh, honored to pray for you. So, um, we will have our contact information in the show notes. You can always email us or um, send us a message on Instagram. However, is easiest for you, but we would love to pray for you. And we're just so thankful to be able to share this information with you and just hopefully to, um, encourage you and remind you how important community is. So thanks for joining us and we will see you guys on the next episode.